All right, up for demo today, we have this Circa 1964 Gibson B25, three quarter size. Let's listen to some sounds. We'll talk a little more about these really cool models. Here we go. Now the B25 three quarter size is a pretty unique model. It's in the LG B25 family. Uh, the LG uh, was introduced in the early 40s with the LG1, LG2, LG3. Later uh, the LG2 and 3s were renamed B25. So B25 regular was a sunburst and then uh, B25 natural was like an LG3 with the natural top. The B25 three quarter size, a little bit different guitar. It's very it's different shape, different shape to it. Very much more like a pair. You know, if you think of uh, the regular size guitar, uh, at least in terms of like Gibson body shape, it looks more like the figure of a lady. Uh, this looks more like a pair. Um, additionally, the B25 um, that the, the regular size one came with X bracing, meaning the braces ran this way. This one has ladder bracing, but it's arranged a little bit differently. And while you have this very narrow top, you have this large um, lower bout to it. And so you really get a pretty big sound out of a small ladder brace guitar. Very resonant, way more low end than you would expect. And what's interesting is the low end doesn't just come from the low string comes from, it comes through all the notes together. So this particular one um, really projects and it's very cool. So this has the uh, kind of like honeyburst, sunburst finish. Um, and it's really, really a nice, um, nice example of the finish. It's had a little bit of repair work to it. Um, there's a side crack here. Um, I think there's, Maybe, I think that's, I don't think that's a crack. I think that's just a scratch. Similarly on the back, there's a little line here, but it doesn't seem to go through the finish or go through the wood just being the finish. It had Grovers on it at one time. It's kind of crazy that this guitar had Grovers, um, but I went ahead and put some Repro single lines. They're a lot lighter. A guitar this small weighs so little. <laughs> Somebody put Grovers on there. It's like they're the same weight as the guitar, so it's much better having that. Another thing, um, again, this is a bit of a restoration project uh, in that this bridge is, of course, a replaced bridge. Um, there's a good reason for that. You know, they didn't always come with the best stock bridges, sometimes had wooden adjustable ones. So it's a good idea to replace the bridges. But this one especially so because somebody had actually converted this to left-handed. Um, I got a batch of guitars from somebody, and there were a few in there that had been converted to left-hand. So I had Jeff Hope at South Sound Guitar Repairs, thank you Jeff, in Tacoma, Washington, make this custom bridge, fill in what had been done to convert it lefty, because it didn't look pretty. Um, and we put on this custom saddle, and uh, the custom bridge with the new saddle. So anyway, it's a great sounding instrument. Uh, if you can get one of these, especially if you can get a good price for it, they're really, really cool. They have a very narrow neck, um, so you have to get used to it but they're so comfortable i mean you don't even feel like there's a guitar here because um this part is so narrow very comfortable to play it doesn't even feel like you have one i'm keeping this one around for my kids you know i got five kids so um i've got a five-year-old and an eight-year-old and a ten-year-old and you know three-quarter size guitar is perfect for them and hey how many of the kids that age can say they, they learned to play on a vintage 1964 Gibson guitar? Anyway, I love little Gibsons. I love the LG2 and the LG3 and the B25s. I've got a 42 um, um, LG2 
with a maple back and sides, a banner logo. It's a beautiful guitar, near mint condition. Um, I've had some throughout the 40s and then the 50s. I've got uh, one B25 Natural. It's one of my favorite guitars to play. It's a 64. It has a ceramic saddle, and it just sounds so great. It really sounds good. And uh, I get them in here. I buy them and sell them. Um, but there's a few I hang on to, and that's it. But this is another special one. Again, a quite resonant, fun little Gibson B25, three-quarter size. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like uh, hearing vintage guitars, you might not ever get a chance to hear. If you like buying them, please subscribe to my channel. I post stuff all the time. I get stuff in to sell. If you subscribe to my channel, it'll really help me, and it'll help you if you're interested in this stuff, because you'll get to see more of these cool videos. Thanks for checking it out and have a great day.